Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to try and teach you all about pot odds. Please bear in mind, I don't necessarily rate my maths, but I'm sure we'll pull through. As I always say, I don't heavily rely on my maths when I play, but it is essential you have a basic understanding when you're playing. So what are pot odds? Basically it is a calculation which is used to work out how much you have to call to win a particular amount, or in other words, the ratio of the amount in the pot to how much you have to call to continue in the hand. Now, it took me a long time to understand what the hell was going on with pot odds because there's you see it being done one way and then you see it being done another way. Now, I've only recently discovered that this is because there's a percentage method and like a ratio method, but they are easily transferred from one into the other, and the percentage method is actually very important and I'll show you how to use that later on in another video. So let's get straight on into it. Okay, so here we go. Let's say that an under the gun person raises 300 chips. This makes the pot equal 450 because of their initial bet and the small blind and the big blind. 300 plus 100 plus 50. The amount to call is 300. So therefore, you simply take the 450 and divide by 300. To simplify this calculation and to get to the ratio that makes it look a bit easier, you can divide both sides by 150. So 450 divided by 150 is 3, and 300 divided by 150 is 2, or 3 to 2. So let's say in this example we call and the small blind and the big blind fold. The flop comes down and he bets 750 into us. This makes the pot equal 1,500 because 750 is already in the pot from the pre-flop action and now on the flop he's bet 750. So how does this calculation work? Well, it's simply exactly the same thing. We need to call 750 to win 1,500. So it's 1,500 over 750. You divide both sides by 750 giving you 2 to 1. So as I said at the start of the video, People can calculate this differently and I got lost by it for quite a long time. Basically there is another method and it's called the percentage method. Unfortunately you are going to need to know, need to learn both, but hopefully I shall be able to show you. There is also a very simple trick you can use to help you convert from one into the other, which I will also show you. In the previous example we faced a bet from an under the gun player of 300. There was 50 in the small blind and 100 in the big blind, making a pot of 450. With the percentage method, you take the amount you need to call and divide it by the size of the pot plus the call. So for our example, this would be 300 divided by 750, because there was 450 in the pot and plus the call we have to make. So, this would give you 2 over 5 or 40%. This percentage is very useful in poker as it is what you can use to become either a winning or a losing player. I will show you how to use this in a later video. Moving on to the flop action. We faced a 750 continuation bet. The pot was therefore 1500. 750 plus 750. So the calculation is 750 divided by 2250. This is because there was 750 in the pot he then bet 750 and the amount we have to call is 750. This would give one third or 33%. Now you can get down to those thirds, fractions or ratios, whatever you want to call them, by dividing once, by dividing both sides like we did previously. So 750 divided by 750 is 1, 2250 divided by 750 is 3. And one third is obviously 33%. Simple. So now onto the simple trick which you can use to transfer from one method to the other. In the first method we calculated our pot odds at the start of the hand to be 2 over 3, 2 to 3. In the second method, the percentage, we calculated our pot odds to be 2 to 5. All you need to do to change from the first method into the second method is add the two numbers together. So you take the 2, add it to the 3, and get 5. Make this number the denominator, or the number on the bottom of the fraction. 
Take the number on the left hand side as the numerator and boom, 2 over 5 or 40 percent. No need for all that stress really is there? In the next video we shall look how we use these calculations to make correct decisions and become profitable in the long run. Thanks again guys for watching and a big thanks for 200 subscribers that's absolutely awesome and you guys rock. Take, take it easy and good luck at the tables.